everyone, and welcome to the latest edition of The Prince of Pop. I'm your host, Vince the Prince. Hope you're all having a very happy Halloween. And because it's Halloween, today I'm going to review a bunch of Halloween figures. All right, let's get this guy out of the way. You might recognize Pinhead from Hellraiser. He was one of the Hot Topic blind boxes. I bought four. I did a live stream here on the channel, and as you know, if you watched that, I got two. The one complaint people have about this figure is that the pins in the head actually make an uneven surface and cause the figure to protrude forward in the box, and it messes up the plastic a little bit. I'm going to talk about this guy very briefly, Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th. Uh, unfortunately, this pop is not particularly original. The mask is great, but if you notice, he's got a knife and a jumpsuit. Those are exact copies of the Michael Myers from the movie Halloween jumpsuit uh, for that pop, just a different color of it. Now, there is going to be a Freddy vs. Jason 2-pack coming out where it is a completely original Jason Voorhees mold. Stay tuned for that. Before I get to my last blind box pop, I just want to mention I am missing one of them. As you saw, I got two pinheads, which means that I am out and Alex from Clockwork Orange. Uh, it is the one with the bird mask. And I tried to feel through the box, as they said you could do. However, what was throwing a lot of people off was that the pins on Pinhead were mimicking the nose. So a lot of people who thought they were getting Alex actually got Pinhead. Last but not least, uh, aside from Alex, which I don't have to review, my favorite of the Halloween bunch is right here. Beetlejuice, another Hot Topic uh, seasonal exclusive from the movie Beetlejuice. And if you take a look at the packaging, a great poster for Beetlejuice as well. Uh, really good mold, the details on the artwork, solid. You've got some smudges and such on his face making him look uh, a little rotten. So a good makeup job on Beetlejuice here. Our next pop is a Hot Topic exclusive, but is not uh, from the blind boxes. Chucky from, of course, the Chucky films. This is a fantastic pop. Uh, very, very detailed face and the stitches and the paint on there, uh, as well as the Chucky doll costume. Aside from the stitching on the face, the overalls are dirty and tattered, and overall a lot of detail was put into this pop. This is the last of the Halloween pops that I purchased at Hot Topic. However, it's not an exclusive. Elvira. Mistress of the Dark, 80s horror scream queen, classic character, and a very good looking pop. There was an exclusive version of this on Funko Shop with a red sparkly dress instead of the black dress. I missed out on purchasing one of those by literally minutes. I hit checkout and it was sold out as I was trying to purchase it. So this one will have to do, but it's a great pop. And honestly, the black dress is more iconic for Elvira. The red dress is nice for an exclusive, but I think if you're truly representing the character of Elvira, it's the black dress. Now you might be wondering why I'm wearing this shirt. There's a very good reason. Four of the pops that I purchased at Walgreens were not only Halloween exclusives, but Peanuts figures. This here is the Bandit Charlie Brown variant. And I don't recall this from Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown, maybe I'm mistaken, but uh, I always thought he was just the ghost. Our next pop from the Walgreens set is Lucy Van Pelt in The Witch Mask. Uh, as you can see, a very detailed witch mask. This looks exactly like the cartoon that I remember from when I was a kid. The third of the Walgreens exclusives for Halloween it was Charlie Brown as a ghost trick-or-treating. Not only does this have the sheet with way too many holes in it, it also has a bag full of rocks. Rats. The final pop in the Walgreens Halloween set is World War I Flying Ace Snoopy. Now this is as iconic as it gets for a Snoopy figure. Most of the time you will see Snoopy either sleeping on top of his house or pretending to be the World War I flying ace. And this is the quintessential costume for Snoopy. Uh, he has the flight helmet and the red scarf and the packaging itself with the pumpkin patch on there that is very reminiscent of uh, Charles Schultz's artwork as well. 
If you're a fan of classic animation like I am, you're going to want to pick up this Walgreens Peanuts set for Halloween, if you can still find it. I had to put in a few favors and make a few phone calls in order to even get a full set of these. They're kind of hard to find. But, if you like Snoopy, this is the Snoopy figure to get. Well, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the Halloween edition of The Prince of Pop. I'm your host, Vince the Prince. You can follow me on social media. Like and subscribe below, and I will see you next time.